Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In uh, this video, I have to show you how you can find the TLS host for a website that you are visiting. For example, let's imagine that we are visiting facebook.com or we are visiting twitter.com and we really want to apply some filtering rules on those websites. So that means we want to, for example, block them, but maybe we want also to make some uh, quality of service on them, applying some queuing. So we know that it's possible that you can do the layer 7. So if you want, I can just show you here on IP, on, on firewall, you have something called layer 7 protocol. So over here, you can do the layer 7 protocol and then you have to write a regular expression over here. But the problem is that, that the MicroTik router, every time you are connecting to the internet and searching for something, it will always look for layer 7 to look if this is, for example, Facebook or this is uh, Twitter. And uh, this will take a lot of resources on your uh, MicroTech router, so your CPU becomes high. And when you have a lot of uh, traffic, then they are already your uh, your uh, CPU is high. Then also looking on layer seven, then this will cause dropping for packets. For this reason, we on the MicroTech there is uh, starting the uh, uh, version six point forty one. There is an option that you can use the TLS host. So this is something you can see it over here. On the advanced, if you look uh, over here, you have the TLS host. That is if you want to do the firewall. So here you put the TLS host of the facebook.com. So you may have, uh, you make, you have to search for that. So that's you have, you have to find the TLS um, matching for it. And then you put it here. And then in this case, if someone go to the facebook.com, for example, it will be stopped. Same for Twitter. But also you can apply it if you want to do some quality of service, you can apply it on mangling. So uh, I have here already one applied and um, and uh, you can see that uh, I have used here the uh, TLS host which is star.facebook.com. So this will be applied for quality of service and then I make a queue here and on this queue I make the limitation. All right, so uh, now in this uh, video, I just want to show you how you can find or make the match up for the TLS host. So um, how to find it? And uh, that's something that not a lot of people uh, knows about it. So I'm gonna show it to you how you can find, for example, the TLS host match up for facebook.com. All right, so to do that, first you need to be connected to the internet. So in my case, I have this MicroTech router, it is on the internet, and my computer is connected to the internet on this MicroTech router. So what we need to do is to do some type of uh, uh, packet sniffer. So we have to uh, sniff the packets that uh, are going to uh, from my computer to the router and also coming. All right. So because on my computer later, I want to open, for example, facebook.com. So if you see now, if I go to my computer, if I do IP config, you see that the IP of my computer is 192.168.1.254. And if I ping google.com, you see that I'm able to go to the internet. All right, so I'm able to go to the internet from uh, this computer via this router, which I have it here, the MicroTech router. All right, so we have to go to tools and then we go to packet sniffer. And over here, we want to save this uh, sniffing that I'm going to do in a file. Let's call it, for example, capture. All right, so I will call it, this file name is called capture. Streaming, I don't do anything. Filter, here I have to select the interface. So the LAN interface in my case is the bridge interface. And then uh, we have to say the IP, which is my computer IP, 192.168.1.254. That's what we have seen. That is the computer IP. And then I'm going to sniff what? The TCP on the port 443, because Facebook works on uh, TCP port 443. So I want to sniff that. And here direction, I make it uh, any. And uh, filter, by default, it is on or You just put it on end. And then that's it. You say apply. All right, so that's what I need to do. Then I will say start. So sniffing has started. Directly now, I go to my browser. In the background now, I'm on my browser and I'm opening Facebook. So I just clicked on Facebook now. And Facebook is open. And uh, I'm not showing that for you because uh, this is my personal Facebook. So I just want to keep it uh, confidential. And then uh, I'll just do some browsing on my Facebook. I'm doing that on another screen. So now it's uh, done. I made a couple of browsing on the Facebook and now what I need to do is just to say here stop. So that's what I need to do. Now if we go to the file, we can see that we have here the file which is called capture. It is there. Excellent. So now what I need to do for with this file 
I just want to uh, copy it and uh, let's put it on the desktop here. So I'll move it and I'll put it on my desktop. All right, so now what we need to do is to analyze this uh, capture file. And to analyze it, we have to use Wireshark. Because from the Wireshark, I can see the um, uh, server's uh, names that uh, are used on the TLS. So uh, we have to go to Wireshark. So let's open Wireshark. So this is Wireshark now opened. And all I need to do is to take this one and uh, paste it to Wireshark. Very good. So we have all those information, but we don't want all those information. What you need now to do is to put here in a filter, you have to write this. So I have already this over here. I will leave it for you as well. SSL.handshake.extensions underscore server underscore name. So this will show me the server names of Facebook. So once you do that, you see it will show you the client hello. All right. So what you need to do you can see that this is destination, this is an IP, this is another IP, this is another IP. So we can check the one which have different IPs to find out the uh, TLS uh, host uh, server name. Now we go to this one, we we'll open the first one. Now over here we have to check on the transport layer security, that's the TLS. And then I open this one as well. Then we go down to handshake protocol, client hello, I will click on it. And now we have to look to the extension, which is the server name. You see it over here? So this one. And now over here, you click on server name indication is extension. And you can see that this is the server name static.xx.fbcdn, facebookcdn.net. So this is one. All right, let's check another one. So we go, for example, to this one. And uh, we go down TLS, also handshake. And uh, the server name over here, it's www.facebook.com. All right, facebook.com. Now we check another one. Let's check this one. So we go down, extension, server name. And this is uh, going to some other uh, server, which is the messenger uh, live. So that's not really important. So let's go to another one. So this one, we have seen it once 57 to 40. This is the 13, we didn't see it. So let's open this one. And now we go down, down, down to the extension server name. So again, it's Facebook CDN. So uh, yeah, you can see, you can gather all of those and you can use them when you want to create your filter rules or you want to do some uh, queuing. Uh, you can use all those uh, TLS hosts. Let's check, check also this one. And uh, let's go down. So as well, you see that this Facebook CDN.net. All right. So what you can do is just easily. Maybe I can also show you this directly now. So over here, what you can do if I just want to show you that uh, let's open the browser in front of you, but I will not log into my Facebook account. So if you go to facebook.com, you can see it's possible. So what you can do if you want to block Facebook, for example, you can just go to IP firewall and on the filter rules, I will create one forward chain. And uh, the protocol is, we said uh, TCP, the destination port is 443. On the advanced, I will say here the TLS host. I can use the TLS host that uh, I have uh, seen of uh, for Facebook.com, but I also have tried this one and it's working. It's just a make star dot Facebook.com. So anything which is uh, from the domain Facebook.com, so star means anything before that, then this will match. So this is TLS dot host, and then action I will say here drop, and that's it. And then now if I say okay. All right, so that's all I need uh, to do. And then uh, what I need now to do is to just uh, go to the connections because the facebook.com server is already open now, the connection for it. So I just delete the connection. And now if I go back to uh, here and I write facebook.com, let's have a look. So it's not opening and look here. You see that the bytes and packets are increasing. Why? Because this firewall rule is working and is dropping now facebook.com. So you can see it's not working. And if we look now, it's still ongoing, ongoing. And you will see at the end, it's not going to work. And that's uh, what uh, the uh, TLS host can do. Uh, you can see it's very efficient. So you see just uh, I made here 
the TLS host start that facebook.com action is to drop on the forward chain I put the TCP and the HTTPS and then you see that uh, facebook.com is not working and now uh, you can also if you want to find out the TLS host for any other uh, websites all you need to do is the way that I have showed you and then uh, this will work perfectly for you so you can see that now facebook.com is not open so this is what i wanted to show you about uh, the uh, tls host uh, matchup so you can see that uh, using the uh, wireshark we can uh, do the uh, tls host uh, matchup to be able to find the tls host uh, for for example facebook.com or for any other website that we want but of course you have to try a lot because um, it may be for example for youtube they have many 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 servers so you can uh, try this a lot of time and collect all the service name and then you can use them inside the TLS host and this is much better for your MicroTik router than using the layer 7 uh, protocol using the regular expression because with this one it will consult a lot of processor on your MicroTik router so this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this lecture also uh, I will leave for you in uh, this video a link about uh, how to uh, limit uh, facebook.com uh, I have a post for that so I will leave this for you on a link you can go for it and you can read uh, using the TLS host how to limit the uh, bandwidth for facebook.com so this is what i wanted to show you in this uh, video i hope it was informative for you and i will see you in some other videos